We want the Loa Anniversary Secret NDA Juice. Guys, That like, what do you mean secret NDA juice? There's nothing to do with that. The thing that I says NDA, it's NDA. I'm, well, I think it's NDA. I don't know if I even signed it. It's just, it just has nothing to do with, it's nothing to do with that. You know stuff? Guys, it doesn't matter if I know or I don't know. You're either not going to believe me. I tell you something, you say fucking sure. It doesn't matter what it is. Even the thing that we got recently, man, I just want to rub it in literally every single one of you motherfucking faces that like was pissed off, worried, like, oh, the date's too soon soon cast form sent me an excel spreadsheet he went out of his way to craft up an entire fucking document about like how it's not enough and i'm like bro you in the time that you made this whole thing you could have just went to the discord like hey man can you guys push it back a week and guess what guys they pushed it back a week so when i tell you guys that i know something you don't believe me when i tell you guys that i don't know something you don't believe me when i tell you i think this is gonna happen you don't believe me when i when i say it's not gonna happen you don't believe me so why does it matter what i even tell you guys let's be goddamn honest isn't that fair to say it's like i'm just i can just make shit up at this point whoever asked about the eye level on agar uh they asked and they're taking feedback on it i have a why don't we watch the video first want, yeah this guy also this guy Daniel, messaged me too bro look at this shit bro tell agsc of hyper regulating skills in our tier four I, like i get dms like this all the time guys like, i don't know why like i might as well go work there because i just get dms like I, it's not even just him little justice sent me a five page monologue of what they should do with the game i'm like bro go put that in the discord like why i, I get it but like why are you sending me a five page monologue like it's about like all the different things and it, I'm not even kidding, guys. Because Aegis is going to your house on Friday, that's why. They're not coming to my house to tell me the item level of Aegir. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe we... <laughs> Like they're not, they're not coming to my house with the purpose of telling me an answer to a question. Like, sup guys, I traveled all the way down here to let you know the animal of Ego. That's not how it works. Why don't we watch this video first? Because it is kind of dope, man. I'm gonna be honest, you know, I was waiting for I them really to come back student, from Korea to talk about some of the things that they talked about. Student, and so um, from my experience, again, when I have chatted with them, you know, I know they're working on a lot of cool stuff and I feel like they're making a nice direction turn in the game. Whether it would've been great if they did some of this shit earlier. Um, but it does seem like they're actually just moving the game in a much better direction overall. And so I was kind of waiting for them to talk about some of the stuff and, or just be more, you know, I think also it's the new guy. I gotta be honest, guys. Uh, the Matt dude, I do think it has a lot, has a lot to do with him and then Henry and then also the feedback. I really do think the feedback does help a lot. I know like you guys don't think it's important, but like it really is important. It's just a lot of people don't leave good feedback. And like, there's a lot of people in my chat that I would say have like a really good pulse. <clears throat> not all of you, of course, some of you guys are not good, but some of you are very good at like, hey, like take the effort that you and like leave a good feedback post. I don't know why people don't do that. Like it doesn't make any sense. Because they're like, oh, we do. They don't listen. No, you don't. You do it in my in my stream. You do it in do work stream. You do it in Saint stream. No, but they're not watching that shit at one in the morning. They're not. That information doesn't get relayed to them. And I'm not going to sit here and relay every single idea that people have. Like, so if you have a good idea or a reasoning behind something, just leave the feedback post, guys. Now is the time where, hey, it actually seems like they're applying the stuff that you talk about. Welcome to Eye on Artesia, where we take a look ahead at all things Lost Ark coming your way. We know there have been a lot of recent changes shared about our plans for our updates coming out in September and October and the release of Tier 4. So before we dive in, we're going to talk a little bit about the most recent team update. Earlier this summer, a few members of our team paid a visit to the Smilegate RPG offices in Korea to discuss player feedback. During the trip, both teams agreed that a lot of the feedback delivered by our players in the West is a result of some of the different experiences and environments that kind of stem from the Korean version of the game versus ours. In order to help address this, more measures are needed to suit the Western version of the game, and we want to make more efforts towards this. So taking a step back, we were recently able to share some of the results of these conversations. It is really true, by the way, just, just in general. When the game came out, there was definitely, I would say, a lot of people that just wanted the Korean version of the game. And I think as time has gone on, as the game has changed, I don't think people want that nowadays, right? I don't think people, like, want the same thing, right? I think people want want a easier version of the game. I just think it's the truth, right? Like whether it be the raids, whether it be the scheduling, even if they gave us more time, I don't really want that either, right? I don't want, okay, well, let's give you six months to farm for Thamine. That's boring as fuck, right? I'd rather have it be easier to reach Thamine. Maybe you make the item level lower, whatever it's going to be, the content a little bit easier. I just don't think that is what people want. You know, maybe there's some people, but I don't think it's the majority of people. I think people just want something a little bit more lax. So 
I think people want to play less, do the same amount of content. I think people want to play a little bit less. I think they want to do the same content. And I think they want it to be a little bit easier after, especially, I mean, you know, maybe early week is fine, but like, I think they want to see nerfs followed suit shortly after release. I don't think people want the need to, the feeling to do hard mode. I think that's something. And realistically, I think overall, like spending wise, I think people spend more money when they're happier with the game too, right? So that's something I think is like an important approach. Like if people are ha enjoying their time in something, they're going to be more willing to spend money because they're enjoying it. It feels like justifiable to them. Like, oh, you know what? I'm enjoying this. This is fun. I'm excited about it. I'll spend some money, right? Versus if they're like bitter or upset or annoyed or frustrated, they might, they might feel like that, but I think you're going to have happier customers as a result regardless. So, you know, and then offering better cash shop deals, I think is also fucking important. At the end of the day, cash shop is intertwined with the game. I think you should have good deals in there, things that feel worth buying or whatever, or like things that feel competitive. I think that's also important. And so like, if you just look, and I just want to bring this back, because like this is something I thought about really a lot this morning. I just want to bring this back. And it's hard to look at this back in the day, okay? But like, I definitely have said this to you guys before, right? I said this, I remember when I was playing BDO farming, I was literally, I remember where I was, I was farming the blood wolves or no i was doing the daily quest for my jatina ring i think it was and i remember telling somebody that came in my chat we were in that what, what's the fastest farm in bdo do you guys remember what i'm talking about like fadus yeah it was like fadus or something anyway so i was there and somebody came in my chat and then i had told them dude the way this shit works is it's never gonna be a specific update that's like yo this is it's like this is it or like they fixed it, right? It takes a long time to fix something, right? It takes a super long time, right? It's gonna be patch after patch after patch after patch after patch. How many patches have we had being like, yo man, they finally, this, this is so good. We've had that like 50 times where we read the notes and we're like, yo dude, the, oh my God, they do care or whatever, right? And the game in general, not just our version, in Korea as well. Like there's always, and then afterwards, nothing really changes, right? The vibe kind of changes. The energy kind of changes, but then it's the next thing and it's the next thing. And so what it takes is it takes a long time. And it's the same thing with World of Warcraft today, right? Like they had multiple bad expansions or multiple changes. And then now I think at this, and it's not over, right? There's going to be an update or something that's going to come along that people are unhappy with. That's going to be bad, perceived bad, whatever. And people are going to bitch, but like it takes a shitload of time to get to a place where people can appreciate the game as a whole, because it's a cumulative amount of changes, right? It's, it's a, a bunch of things that they've done to get the game to a point where it feels better overall because you're interacting with so many things in an MMO. It's not just one interaction that you have. You interact with so many different systems, so many different whatever, right? So yeah, man, it's like the same thing with BDO, right? With BDO, bro, it's going to take them a fuckload of time to get it to a place where people are happy because they're just going to have all of these things that they have to iron out. So yeah, man, it's not something that you, you can get changed overnight. And so that's why getting super frustrated about it is not really the mentality to have have, man. It's more, I really believe the mentality to have is just the check in on the updates and then check back later. Oh, this looks pretty good. I'll hop in for a little bit. Okay. Oh, this looks pretty good. I'll hop in for a little bit. And you keep doing that till it gets to a place like Diablo four. It's like a bunch of different seasons. And then sometimes people are happy with the end result after a few different patches. And then maybe, and then maybe, maybe it sticks with them, you know, and then they play a lot of Diablo, you know, and that's just how it works, man. It's not one specific event or patch. It will not be, it will not be in this game. Anyway, just interesting. Latest team update. And I hope hope some of what I share today will give players a glimpse at the future changes as well. For those that may have missed it, due to localization delays, the biggest among these changes was the shifting of the Tier 4 update two weeks back to October 9th. After gathering additional community feedback, we're also happy to share that we'll be shifting A gear to release two weeks after that on October 20th. Wow, guys, there it is. Holy shit, you know, that's crazy, guys. Look at that, cock form. Holy moly. I'm just kidding, cast form. It's not, it's just a joke. I don't, you're not actually cock form, but I'm just saying, bro, it's like, holy shit, guys. Just in the Discord, bada bing, bada boom. That's crazy, bro. Third. To share some context around this, we first proposed a short release timeline for Aegir in order to kick off ancient gear farming to ease the use of the new ARC passive system. However, players made it super clear this felt too fast, so we'll be pushing back a little bit accordingly. We hope having an additional week to prepare for Aegir assists players in feeling more prepared for the raid's release. The September update will Weird release edit. on September Weird prepared edit. for the raid's release. Come on! Somebody watch this back. I'm just saying, man. I'm not letting that go. Why? Because when you want this bitch, this shit pisses me off. But when you make a video, you watch it back like five times at least. You come on now. Get that shit, man.
Come on. We have a quality standard we have to uphold. The September update will release on September 11th and will include the behemoth raid at item level 1620, dropping tier three materials. Players will Same be able to muck. hop in and enjoy ahead of tier four and weapon transcendence will be available starting at item level 1620 Pause. with this. Please note that behemoth clear rewards, including amounts of gold and honing materials will be adjusted to meet the- I told you. I told you. And people are like, they're not going to do I bet you, dude. Moon BB. That's just what it is. Cooking also. Wow. Striker to the moon BB. Thank you for the Prime 25 month. There it is. Don't watch the video quickly. You post the video in different languages except all, sir. Yep. Big juicer, Foz. Say it with me. Big juicer. He's kind of... 1620 item level requirements. Yeah, I don't know what the gold's gonna be. What do you guys think it's gonna be? What do you think we're rocking? Predictions in the chat right now. How much is Behemoth dropping? 14.5, 16, 80% of the Korean amount, 50, 50. Palm shit, come on, bro. Palm come on, is it because I didn't watch this easy video? Link it again, I'll play it. <laughs> Hope it's more than Thamai normal so I can drop that boring shit. Shit, what am I dropping after this, Voldus? It's gotta be more than Voldus, right? Right? In the team update I mentioned earlier, we also touched on some of our plans to bring in recent Elixir and Transcendent system updates from Korea as soon as possible. We're happy to share those changes will come to our version on the game in the September update, September 11th, and they'll make it easier for players to progress through these two systems. With these changes, Armor Transcendence levels four through six will be available after clearing gate two of Feymine on any difficulty, and level seven will be available after clearing gate three of Feymine on any difficulty. For the Elixir system, Epic Elixirs will be removed from the rewards pool and legendary will become available at item level 1600. Wow. There was a guy that said, be a true face of lost Ark stoops and push for these elixirs and transcendence changes on the next update. Well, I just want to say to you, my friend, you're welcome. That was my doing. I went out of the way and sent them the DM and been like, yo man, as the face of lost Ark, can you guys put these changes in the game? shit bro what do you mean be a good face what do you want me to do like just say a, a line like what was the best i can do yo bro put these changes in nice stoops like what the fuck guys come on man that's goaded that's crazy 1600 elixirs is crazy 1600 legendary elixirs is nuts that is a fire update that is very very good also no more hard mode requirement for thamine that is also really good now soul solo voldus you can get your set that is pretty fucking juicy to be honest pretty juicy a good one normal and solo modes of the ivory tower will also begin to drop legendary elixirs at 50% of the amount rate dropped in hard mode. We know players have also been interested in learning more about coming progression events and how those might help them prepare characters for tier four. We're still working on some of these plans, but wanted to share a couple of early call outs. There will be a progression event released in September designed to support players and be sure to keep an eye out on our website for more. I had no idea about that. A progression event in September. I had no idea about this. I have no idea what the fuck this could be. See, that's what I'm saying. I tell you, I don't know. And you guys say fucking sure. Like this is insane. How can we have like, any i don't know if it's one of those events had to is it an i don't know if it's like a thing where you raise something or, i don't think it's a hyper express is it the it might be like the it might be one of those things like the thing that they got over there like you know those little not a road event it might be like the well you know what i mean the thing that they just got it might be one of those I heard the care ones cracked though I heard that from two different people, but it, when I look at it, it doesn't seem cracked, but I don't know. I don't, I didn't actually look at the total mats. I'm sure there's someone with a spreadsheet out there, right? More details on that. Oktoberfest will also return, and this year it will include a variety of rewards to help support player Fest. progression directly. We'll also be holding the Blooming Makoko event again, which will utilize the bound gold system and allow us to increase the amount of gold you can actually earn from the jackpot, even with the same probability of winning. Do you guys make any gold from this shit? I have never, what is the, is the blooming event what you just get gold what is the blooming event like what do you even get from this i got no gold i did 350k 10g finally we also wanted to give players a heads up on a few additional october dates events including the maharaka festival super makoko express voldus power pass and current daily playtime event will be extended until october 9th proving ground seasons 5 will also end on october 9th and the they mind the first mode challenge will now remain open until october 30th so if you want to earn that eclipse title and abyss grugok mount you have a little bit of extra time to do wow so. more buses to sell so. and of course ignite servers will launch on october 9th along 
alongside Tier 4. These servers are going to have a lot of exciting features for players to take advantage of to help them accelerate up to the end game. New systems on these servers will make it easier for players to get familiar with the game and efficiently grow in power before merging their character or moving their character onto a selected legacy server. This is going to be a brand new system for Lost Ark, first introduced in the Western version of the game before it's released anywhere else, so definitely stay tuned for news on those servers. I think they'll be really beneficial for players new, returning, and old. Last but not least, we know that the Western version of Lost That one, when they say that, so I, I wonder if that means they're going to do it on Korea at some point. When they say before anywhere else, or they're going to do it on China, or that means they're going to put it in Korea one day. I don't know. I don't actually know. But um, yeah, that that event could be really, really fun. Yeah. Stark and its player base have a lot of notable differences from the Korean version of the game. As we mentioned earlier, considering things such as the growth rates of players in the West, speed of content, speed of releases, and more led us to adjusting Behemoth to 1620. When Tier 4 arrives, we will change the Behemoth rewards to the Tier 4 item pool and maintain that 1620 entry level for the content. With all these considerations, we know there will be cases where other pieces of content may need to be presented differently from how they initially were in the Korean versus where 1620 entry level for the content. Behemoth rewards to the Tier 4 item pool and when Tier 4 arrives, we will change the behemoth rewards to the tier four item pool and maintain that. Wow, there it is. What a nice update. 1620 entry level for the content. With all these considerations, we what know nice there will update. be cases where other pieces of content may need to be presented differently from how they initially were in the Korean versions of the game, particularly in terms of required item level, entry levels, and available rewards. While specific details are still under discussion with Smilegate RPG, our teams want you to know we're exploring that this line so one we more can time. ensure differently from how they initially were in the Korean versions where other pieces of content may need to- Sorry, I want to hear exactly what she's saying one more time. Content. With all these considerations, we know there will be cases where other pieces of content may need to be presented differently from how they initially were in the Korean versions of the game, particularly in terms of required item level, entry levels, and available rewards. Well, specific- She doesn't say tier four, so that means two different things. A, it means that they can move Agar's item level. B, that means we're gonna get the Theomine changes, where Theomine, the, Ch the China Theomine changes, where China go, where Theomine goes to 1610 or whatever the fuck it is, and Voldis goes, you know, or Voldis Hard goes to 1610. Yeah, it means one of the two, right? It means that they're going to adjust Agar item level in the future, or they're going to move the other raids down, because she didn't say tier four, right? Did she? She said... Behemoth rewards to the tier four item pool and maintain she just that said 1620 item level, right? entry level for the content. With all these considerations, we know there will be cases where other pieces of content may need to be presented differently from how they initially were in the Korean versions yeah. of the game. She doesn't say that. It's in tier four. So it's one of the two things. It either means that or it means one of the two, right? It means that we're going to get those changes that China got where they moved all the raids down, which is a good change. Or it means, honestly, though, I feel like if you're doing Ignite servers, moving all of the raids down is fire, right? Like moving all of the things down is way better, right? Moving like everything lower, I think is a really good idea. And honestly, man, I'm telling you, dude, I mean, what is the loss in doing? What is the harm in doing that? I feel like you just do it, yeah. Particularly in terms of required item level, entry levels, and available rewards. Which, no, she said in KR, not China, how they were initially presented in Korea, meaning that could mean anything. It could mean Thaimine's launch. It could mean Aegir's launch. But yeah, it might mean all of the above. It might mean they might move everything down. I think if you're doing Ignite servers, you should move the raid down. Fuck it. Who gives a shit? Thaimine becomes like a fucking pinata anyway. Just move that shit down. You're going to have Brel anyway, and I think you should space it down a little bit more. More, and that makes the flow of like getting, you know, yeah. Rewards. While specific details are still under discussion with Smilegate RPG, our teams want you to know we're exploring this so we can ensure players enjoy tier four to the fullest. Uh, with she does the say least amount of stress. She does say tier four. She does say tier four. I mean, shit. I mean, shit, man. It is what it is, guys. Hold it to the words and then ride it. <laughs> I mean, shit, guys. That might mean probably you can expect an Aegir item level reduction. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. Fucking just do it. Bug it. Hopefully, Smallgate doesn't suck pee pee and they do it. Just do it. You know, she didn't say anything. Well, you're wrong. She definitely said something. I mean, what, what did we just listen to? What, 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 was, what was all of this? Let's just go back. Should, should I play it again for the boys in the back? Should I do it more time for Charlie? Charlie, should we play it again? Here we go. Considering things such as. For Charlie, guys, everyone in the back. Everyone in the back. Here we go. Notable difference. 
references from the Korean version of the game. No, 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 Charlie, you said no. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? Guys, what do you mean no? Charlie, what are you owning for? Let's play it again. No, 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 Charlie, let's play it again. Hold on. Returning and old. Last but not least, we know that the Western version of Lost Ark and its player base have a lot of notable differences Yo, Sung, thanks for the gifted sub, man. As we mentioned earlier, considering things such as the growth rates of players in the West, speed of content, speed of releases, and more led us to adjusting Behemoth to 1620. When Tier 4 arrives, we will change the Behemoth rewards to the Tier 4 item <laughs> I'm not pool. doing this again, bro. <laughs> I'm not doing <laughs> Charlie, shut the fuck up, man. What do you mean? Now, granted, I think they're just trying to give us some insight on what they're trying to work on. So, yeah, man. I mean, shit. It's just W's all around, though, right? Like, could you really say anything negative at all? I mean, some of you probably could find something negative to say, you know? Some of you guys could find... I could, I could deliver, a, pl I could deliver a plate of bacon, eggs, French toast, orange juice straight up to you, and you could say that you want fucking waffles, right? So, it is what it is. Just because y'all phone and honed to 60 1960 doesn't mean everyone had to do it the fuck. I don't think anyone's saying that they should nerf it. I, I, I don't did I I don't even think that anyone even said that in the chat. I don't think anyone even said that. I don't think anyone even gives a fuck, man. I think most people, to be fair, they can just they can make these changes because Zoom and Park dropped the bag so hard. There's no players to monetize anymore, so they can throw all Hail Marys like this if they want. I really, um, how do I say this? It just takes time, you know what I mean? It just takes some time. Behemoth learning into Thaemine, hard Thaemine into Aegir. Can't wait so much fun. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. It just takes some time, man. You know, and I think feedback is good. And yeah, it just takes some fucking time. Also, I think Smilegate is definitely just being a bit more flexible with their game in general, man. Uh... I think that's pretty clear and obvious that even over there, they're making a lot of changes, you know? It just, all of this stuff takes a lot of time, guys. It does take a lot of time. I don't even know why you're saying question mark. Whenever somebody puts a question mark, you should look at yourself in the mirror and put the question mark on your fucking forehead. Let's finish this. ...and available rewards. While specific details are still under discussion with Smilegate RPG, our teams want you to know we're exploring this so we can ensure players enjoy Tier 4 to the fullest with the least amount of stress possible. Thank you for joining us for this month's Ion Arcasia. We really appreciate players' patience with us while we work to take your feedback into account and make changes. And we encourage you to stay tuned to all of our channels as we get closer to upcoming releases. We hope this episode of Ion Arcasia gave you a good look at what's ahead. And as always, we'll see you in Arcasia. What a good video. Honestly, you're doing a really great job right now. I like your approach and how you make it better for the Western version. Honestly, this can bring some growth back to the Western version of the game. Yeah, but then now you need an event to showcase the changes, right? You need something to showcase, right? Because like this is going to take, it takes a long time. Really happy to see that Smilegate and AGS are going to make it more enjoyable for the Western version. Keep this up. Lost Ark went from all L's to all W's. Keep it up. Thank you for bringing those elixirs and transcendent changes so tune. Major wins, but please do not nerf behemoth gold of course i discovered lost Ark very recently this game is really good no surprise uh no matter the constant criticisms i hear that there and that what thanks to the team of developers and keep it up please note the behemoth clear rewards including will be adjusted meets control requirements so behemoth gold is gonna be nerfed gold in tier 4 release stinking video i normally don't comment but excellent video quick and condensed with information uh and your position related to the future of the game really happy with all the changes and communications over the past two months well i felt the game's future is being bleak before, AGS starts to give me flames of hope for this game in the West. Flames of hope. Hope that in the future we can truly recommend this game to more players without ifs. That's a crazy message. Big win. Thank you for listening to player feedback. So refreshing to have a dev team that actually listens and acknowledges player uh, feedback and not to mention the fast turnaround on a player wanted changes. The future's looking good. We love rocks. Sounds good so far, but we should have had a refresh or added something back to the Maharaka shop. Shut the fuck up. Sorry, too much. I shouldn't do that. But see, like, I don't work there, so I can say that right now, right? That's like, that, my point is, like, that's, here's the waffles, where's my French toast? It's always something to say, though. I want a silver exchange. I mean, he's right. But you're, like, never happy, Brooklyn. Like, I'm just saying, bro, like, I'm just saying, sometimes you should shut the fuck up, right? And then bring it up later. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're like that person where I take you out on a super nice day, I pay for fucking everything, and at the very end of the night, you ask for something else. Wait a day, bro. Wait two days, a day and a half. Go in the Discord and drop it. But like when we're doing the thing, shut the fuck up. 
No, it makes sense. That's just how it works. Sometimes it's nice to have a moment to like be like, yo, really good stuff. And then you can bring it up later. It is what it is. I'm not saying it's wrong. I think they should refresh the shop. We're probably going to get another one. The reason why that shop stays up, you guys, is not for you. I just want you to know that, guys. That's why there's the Maharaka event. That's why there's the Chaos Dungeon event. And that's why they're adding a new October event. Why? Why they're not refreshing it? Because it's not for you. You've already exhausted it. So they're going to add another event. Why did they keep it up? for someone that missed it. No, it's not for more homework or resolve. Guys, is there a reality in the world where there's someone that may have not logged in and has the opportunity to claim previous rewards? Are we, guys, are we just unaware of the chance that, hey, maybe this whole thing doesn't revolve around your rewards and there's a chance that, hey, man, maybe I was playing something else. I took a three-week vacation. I don't really feel like playing right now. I don't want to do my Chaos Dungeons. I've been a little lazy, which is very possible, guys. How many people have felt really lazy in the game recently? Raise your hand. Even though tier fours are in the corner, you're kind of overweighting. You're kind of over farming. You don't really want to do your shit anymore. That's a lot of people, man. It's a lot of people. I'm one of them. S someone was sending me this big DM. He's like, bro, people aren't logging in. I'm like, it's fucking boring. I don't feel like it right now. There's nothing going on. It's like, yeah, but tier fours are in the corner. Yeah, but I'm over it. I farmed what I farmed and I just, I just don't, I don't feel I need something else. Right. And so when there's an update. Sure. But that's normal. So guess what? That way you can go back and claim all the shit. It's for the people that have missed it. That's anti-FOMO. That's anti-FOMO. You know what refreshing the shop does? You know what that does? What does refreshing the shop do, guys? The opposite of anti-FOMO. Better clear out all the rewards. Better make sure I get everything done. Better make sure I clear everything and get everything done by refreshing the shop. No, not the cash shop, Maddie. Not the cash shop, the fucking event shop. Not the cash shop. Not lining their pockets, guys. Are we on the same page? I feel like we're not. I feel like we're not sometimes, guys. We're talking about the in, in, in the event shop, guys. <laughs> what do they call it? A new progression event. Uh, that could be fair. Maybe it's just more mats. I don't know if they would call it that, though, because then you have this. Our October Festival will turn and glant key progression materials for just clearing daily activities. It's going to be something like the birthday bash. You mean the birthday bash event, right? Not the extra materials, right? Did you watch the new ZZZ trailer? Holy moly, guys. Okay, where is this? Why is this being so... I haven't even, like, gotten to the other stuff, but let's just watch it. What is this trailer? <laughs> So you're the one who lost- That's the just so cringe, man. Holy shit, man. Like, this is just so fucking, like, the, like, the, it's just like, Jesus, dude. The foot. The foot is just, come on, guys. Like, like, the foot is insane, man. So you're the one who lost <laughs> Boss's goods. <laughs> boss sent me to repay you. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, have something to say. Be careful now. I don't want to hear anything that might do. <laughs> The, the goods were stolen. I always change my roots, but th that guy knew right where I'd be. Stand up. Jub Jub, what do you mean stand up, man? <laughs> so you're saying? That he must have known your route. Is she like a mouse or something? I don't, I, I, like, I don't what know. Even is she? It was a ghost. A ghost. <laughs> a rat. Is that so? Why don't you tell me more? <laughs> this shit's too much, dude. This shit is just way too much, man. Jesus Christ, bro. This shit is, this shit reminds me of like when Squidward tries to eat the Krabby Patty where he puts his fucking like, his, his fucking mouth. You guys know what I'm talking about? We just saw this the other day. Like, what the fuck is Too this? Red. Yes, it was red. And it left from the shadows. Once it sets sex on you, It's you! I think our boss got played by you like that, you dirty rat! <laughs> We've met before, and you don't recognize me? How insulting. 
<laughs> Such terrible eyesight. How about? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, it's just crazy how intentionally they are pandering to Coomers. It's insane. Like, it's not even, like, subtle. It's just so unbelievable. Like, it's gone to a point where I'm just like, yo, like, it's just, they don't give a fuck anymore, man. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Wow. How about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? It's so crazy, man. It's so crazy. The foot, the licking of the apple thing, this boob shot, the butt thing. It's crazy. Just kidding. You still have lots of confessing to do. Wow. Are you gonna watch the new anniversary video? Did you do that? Are you gonna do that? Or did you do that off stream? I kind of already looked at it though, but they did release some good skins. I will say though, so where's the where's the wow head link? Somebody linked it earlier. We'll look at the wow skins. I will say, so they're they're great skins, right? They're tier two. Bring back. I don't know why they use pandas and dwarfs to showcase the skins. Uh, but look at look at this. So first of all, this is the Death Knight one. Why put it on the dwarf? It, look, you can see that it would look good on a different race. Why put it on the dwarf? And then look at the like the hunter. Again, everyone knows what this skin looks like, so it's a good skin. But on a panda, I mean, why put well, why on a panda? Like, if you're gonna showcase the artwork, put it on a night elf, a human, anything else than a fucking panda. My mom also messaging me right now. Why does my mom keep sending me photos of Korean women? This is getting crazy, bro. My mom is so unhinged. It's insane, dude. Like, she keeps sending me, like, I don't know what is going on, bro. No, but she's on, like, my mom is just so unhinged. That's why I, I really want to do a cooking stream with my mom, but I'm genuinely scared that she would say something that would get me in trouble. I don't have an Asian fetish at all. You could be Asian, I could not find you attractive at all. I do not have an Asian fetish. Like, what are we saying, guys? What are we actually saying? This is crazy. This is actually nonsense. Because you are single for too long. I mean, it is what it is, though. I mean, this is what you can expect. This is not my fault. You linked me this shit, man. Like, you linked me this, and then you clip it. It's not my fault. This has nothing to do with me. You linked me this, man. Like, bro, like, this is just getting ridiculous. I'm getting framed in the worst ways possible out in this motherfucker, man. Having a preference and a fetish are two different things. It's not even a preference. Do I find a some Asian woman attractive? I mean, to be fair, yeah, you're right. It, it, there are two different things. Yes. Can you be Asian? I don't find you attractive. Yes. Like you could be, you could be fucking any ethnicity. I could find you attractive. I mean, shit. I like women, you know, it don't really matter to me. Guys, I don't even actually have it. Okay. First of all, I'm more of a butt guy, right? I'll be honest, man. When I was in Korea, I saw no nice booties. I'm keeping it a buck 50. Those motherfucking things were flat as shit. I mean, maybe there was one or two. There was zero fucking booty out there. That's, that's, that's a fact, guys. I'm just keeping it fucking real too, you know? Like, I don't really have, like, I'm not like, yo, I, I like, I'm more of a butt guy. And they got no booty action. But you can still be attractive to me. It is what it is. It's just, it's, it's just, if I find you attractive, I find you attractive. Butt fetish it is. Oh, my God. F okay, fetish makes it sound dirty, though. Like, why, when you say fetish, like, it makes me feel like, uh, like, what, what, uh, like, what is the actual definition of a fetish? Hold on. Okay, I just Googled fetish, sexual fetishism, mental disorder. No, I just want to know. <laughs> a mental disorder, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, this is crazy, man. No, dude. If she's got a fat ass, is she attractive? That's not like the only thing that's important to me. What is going on right now? Like, what are we saying? That's crazy, man. Fetishism, fetish is a normal word, not a negative. Is it? Play this, please. It's not a troll. You got auto modded, Jack Smith, and I want you to know what you got auto modded for. Big fucking Latinas walking with a big ass bakery behind them. Holy embasing. Like, what? Like, what? Like, what? That, like, I'm just saying, bro. Like, what? <laughs> He thought he was typing it in Google. <laughs> oh, oh my. Yo, you probably put that on the wrong bar, Jack Smith. I don't know what's going on here, bro. I don't know. What was the exhibit B? This is not my fault, man. Like, first of all, this is ridiculous. What is even going on on the screen, man? What is even going on on the screen? That is not my fault. Somebody asked me to pull up the Asian bunny stream, so I did. That was what was going on. Dent butt. <laughs> I don't like this anymore, dude. What about this time? 
Bro, what? I don't want to. Yo, I don't want to look at Asian Bunny right now, bro. What is going on? What is going on, man? Stand up, guys. There's literally no reason for me to stand up right now. Like, there's zero reason. I don't know. Like, this is crazy. I am not fricked up, man. Look. Guys, I'm literally fine. Respect me! Oh fuck, my mom's calling me.